what was the media feeding about you? Uh, is the, are you saying the media is the media's feeding people that you are not Satoshi Nakamoto or what is the media feeding? Well, that was part of it. Um, we had a lot of sort of, and we still get a lot of people wanting to discredit what I'm doing. So um, this whole concept is whatever I do is bad. So Satoshi would never patent, must be Helfini. Helfini, of course, actually had patents. And most of the guys in core have patents. And most of the other people who hypocritically sit there saying, no, can't be Craig because have patents. Just I do it better. So then they sit there saying, oh, well, you copied this, except you don't get a patent by copying something. And it's easy to make the claim saying, uh, look, this is just, just a Diffie-Hellman process. Except if you write a patent well, which we do, you have to actually do this section called prior art. And in prior art, you put all the things that already exist and you explain why you're different to them. So if you want to have a really good patent, you sit there and you document how things really are now. This is the existing intellectual property. These are the existing inventions. You know, like uh, when you document other people's work um, in other things and you basically put that there and then you say, but this is my invention. And what you actually have patented is your invention, not the previous things. But most people have never filed a patent. Most people have never done a thesis. So when people sit there and, and comment on these things, it's without knowledge, without understanding. And it's very easy to sit there on social media these days. And this is part of the problem with things like Twitter. You can sit there and say, oh, isn't that terrible? But you don't care about the truth. You don't care about what's real. Because we have this whole culture now. I'm not doing something. I'm not actually going out there and making a better world because we don't need to anymore. We can click like. I didn't actually have to go out there and, and help that person because I liked the video of them suffering. I said that it was really terrible. I saw and I felt and I emoted online. And I said, I feel so bad. And other people came back to me and said, we feel bad for you. That's our world now. If we want to go back to a biblical thing, it's the Good Samaritan, except the Good Samaritan's the one who isn't on social media. Everyone else walking along, they're the ones who are on social media. The Pharisees who pass the guy and watch him bleed, but they get back and they tweet about it. And they say, he was bleeding, but I'm really good because I made sure I stayed pure. If I got blood on my hands, I wouldn't be able to go to the temple on, on Sabbath. And then the next group come through and they sit there and they say, I'm so pure because obviously I'm with other people and, and we could have been attacked. And we want to live in fear, don't we? We don't want to do something because poor little me. But what if, it's not just me. What about these people I'm with? What about them? I, mean, I know there's only probably two attackers and there's like 10 of us, but, but what, what if some of us get hurt? So we walk on. And that's what our world is becoming. We leave the people there. We sit there and we click on people and we say, isn't this great? Because look what I've done. I've helped by clicking like. You haven't. And all these people who think they have, you're scum. And if you don't like that, get off your freaking ass and do something about it.